Ah, hello. You don't know who I am, but today starts another year of the Rose City Comic Con. So we're gonna go see what kind of good stuff we can find. Whew. Oof, I'm gonna buy a lot of stuff. Yeah, Rose City Comic Con, on again, here we go. And you'll see me coming by my red shoes. All right, Rose City Comic Con. The calm before the storm. All right, first things first, found some long boxes. Let's see what we can find. Hey, let me know what your favorite Hulk version is. What favorite color is your Hulk? Hey, let's find out. Let us know in the comments. You want to sing it. I want to sing it. Well, I did sing it as I walked by, so uh, that's why I'm doing this voiceover now. Ah, look, there's my boy Jazz. Yes. Uh, I probably should have grabbed that, but I didn't. I can't start that collection. I can't. So many Transformers. So many figures. Oof. I'm glad my shelf space is only saved for video games right now. Well, and these comics but those are in long boxes so that's okay but look at all these transformers beautiful stuff Kikowins, low sodium. More beautiful character boxes uh, with wonderful uh, figures inside. And yeah, had to put them back. Can't start those collections. Can't start those collections. Just gotta remind myself that. <laughs> Just can't start it. But now here is a collection that I do need to work on. I need more Alpha Flight. Really, I do. And I'm sure you do as well. Ah, yeah. Go, go, Godzilla. Oh, that reminds me. It's about time to watch Critters again. Love those movies.
Why? Why am I here? Why am I looking at more pops? Come on, stop, stay away. Can't collect anymore, don't need anymore. But man, they just draw you in. There are some really fun Funko Pop designs. Found some more long boxes, found some more comics I had to have. Yeah, we always need more comics. <laughs> wow, it is the first time I've ever spotted frog and toad out in the wild like this. Oh, that's great. Oh, man. You love those books as well. As soon as you see this, you hear it in your head and you start laughing. This was great. I mean, like, do you even lift, bro? There were quite a few mystery bags throughout the con this year. 
maybe next year I should buy a few and see what we can find. His day is just gonna get worse. Actually, I think this year should have been called the Rose City Dice Con, because there were dice vendors everywhere. I mean, you couldn't throw a, you couldn't roll a dice without rolling into more dice vendors. All right, in the comments below, tell us whose name do you yell out anytime you see anything Akira related? Come on, whose name, whose side are you on? Whose name do you first yell out? Oh, now I get to see one of these in person. Well, at least the box. Oh my gosh, beautiful. But a little steep, $600 was a little bit out of my price range. I'm a big fan of these G.I. Joe Transformer mashups. Uh, I do have Megatron and the His Tank one, so I need to get these other, I think there's two other ones, and I need to get them, but I, I, I'm waiting for the right time. Really cool sets of pins here with all the different gaming systems. I liked it. I was a big fan. I didn't buy any, although I should have.
I was able to snag some more of Arcana stuff, so that was great. Those were good finds. You know, not too many wand vendors this year. I can remember only seeing two or three, but at least they had some pretty good selections. This large scale uh, Scarlet um, figurine was very, very tempting. A bag of some free goodies, so I picked up some terrible anthem pins and a pretty darn cool uh, Wild Stallions uh, keychain. You know, just a couple of video game vendors here as well. I was able to pick up a couple of games there for some decent pricing, so that was fun. This was too awesome to see a Aurora statue like this and then a little diorama there inside uh, with the castle. Too much. Too much. I should have grabbed this. I really should have grabbed this. But 
I didn't. And I think I did the right thing by not getting it. But I should have got it. Oh snap, look at this, Battle Chasers, yes! I mean, I think it was only like a pack of two, but awesome, awesome. And I am also a sucker for um, these comic vendors who do bundle their stuff in sets and give me a nice little run of a story for a decent price. That's why I ended up buying quite a few of them. More, 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 give me more. Don't forget to look under the vendor tables as well, because many times there's a lot of boxes and stuff down there you gotta go through.
more packaged sets of older comics? Hmm, don't mind if I do. Oh, how I love handheld gaming, and I want many, many more handheld consoles. Um, I want to get them all. I want to collect all the variants, all the colors. Uh, that is a work in progress. There is always such amazing artwork in the artist's alley. And if you ever go to Comic-Con, be sure to buy as much of the original artwork that you can uh, from these artists. Because this stuff is amazing. No, no, no more Funko Pops. Stay away from me, you evil things.
I need an unlimited budget so I can buy all the art. All of it. What am I doing? Why am I picking up another pop? Put it down. This was a really neat and fun idea. That could be cool to have. What? Different shoes?
<laughs> oh, these were too cool. Um, yes. I, that, that's all I can say is yes, and that these are cool. Look at them. They're beautiful. More long boxes, more comics to bring home. Oh, I had no idea about this mashup, and I thought it was pretty cool. And if I ever see it cheap enough, I probably will snag it. Yeah, choose your own adventure. Boy, weren't those a lot of fun. I checked so many of those out at the school library. Great times. Took a moment here at the very end to sit down in the game room and have a little bit of Mortal Kombat fun. Uh, you know, to top off a great weekend. And, well, there we have it. One more successful year of Rose City Comic Con. Always amazing. Always a good time. I always want to see you guys there. Alright, until, um, well, until the next video, thanks for watching.